methods are the best for calculating what a fair down payment is for a loan mod? How much does the borrower's credit score affect the down payment amount that you request or generally ask for a percentage of the UPP? We'll normally go with the path of least resistance. So we'll start talking to down payment, but if the borrower pushes on that, we'll often just get the mod started with just the $250 fee to get going. That has worked for us only because we're really looking for velocity rather than recouping the funds right away. I think in general though, we're leaving money on the table by not being a little bit more aggressive with requesting down payments. I would say that it's probably going to be more a percentage of your cost basis than of your principal balance, because then you could basically recoup some of your investment right in the beginning of the loan mod. If you could get your whole investment back, if the borrower had 30, 40, 50% to put down, then that would be awesome. Obviously not everyone can afford that. And that's why the next step of the process is going to be to get all their financials. If you are, for your model, are requiring a down payment, then stay firm on that and ask them for their tax returns, their bank statements, their credit card statements, all of those docs. The reason we don't normally go that route for US mortgage resolutions is because we're able to just move on to the next deal really quickly and then get that mod started. Whereas if I'm going to sift through all their financial docs, which once you have all the files, of course, you know, you can get through them in like an hour or less, but it's also sometimes like pulling teeth to get all the files and that can really slow down a mod. Just getting the mod started. If there's pushback on the down payment, then just get the mod started. And then by the three months later, when we might have all the docs reviewed and ready, you're already got three months under your belt. But of course, if you're more on top of it, you know, you can set those deadlines and make sure the borrowers are giving you all the docs you need or else they could get a demand letter in the mail. And I will say just from like actual numbers here, last month, we collected two down payments, one for a grand and one for five grand. And I think we did 10 mods. So 20% of those mods, we took down payments. The other 80%, eight of the 10 were all just started with no down. We do ask for the $250 mod fee that gives them a tiny bit of skin in the game so if they don't make their first monthly payment then we're going to have to collect another mod fee if they get back on track but it's another reason we don't often push for the down payments is because we're not selling those reperforming loans usmr is looking to build a cash flowing portfolio so we mod them we hang on to them but i know from some of the mastermind calls we had with some of our reperforming loan buyers they really look for a down payment when they're assessing a reperforming loan for acquisition so if you are doing the fix and flip model, the down payment, even if it's a small amount, is going to give your buyer of that reperformer a lot more confidence. Definitely rewatch the call with Tom Boren. If you go to the Mastermind events and search Tom Boren, you'll see the calls he's been on. He gave us one call looking at his modeling in an Excel sheet behind the scenes of how they price out reperforming loans and how down payment does incorporate into that. And it was important. Down payments are one of the factors that they look for when they buy reperformers.